really different. We'll start next week, we'll crazy, right? There's so much variation. So the safe thing to do is to take at least the last 11 nights very seriously, right? To assume it might fall anywhere. You might have started on the wrong day to take at least the last 11 nights, 10 nights, very, very seriously in the month of Ramadan. And you know, it's especially difficult because in our culture, Ramadan starts first three, four days, the masajid are full, then you get burnt out, then you're kind of seasonal. 20 days into it, you're really tired. When you're really tired is when you have to get, seek the real treasure, Laylatul Qadr, right? So people get really lazy, and what do they do? They take a vacation, show up on the 27th, and go back home, right? That's in hopes that maybe that was it. Right? That's probably not a healthy attitude. We should, you know, save our energies, especially for the last 10, and not get burnt out. And you know, again, personal advice, this is not a fatwa or anything, personal advice to the Muslims in general, you know, instead of getting burnt out in Ramadan in the beginning, keep it moderate. Okay, you can't pray all, you know, 20. I encourage, you know, 8, 20, whatever your masjid is doing, do as much as you can. But if you get tired early, then take a break. It's, it's not fard, it's okay. Take a break. It's better you stay consistent, than you come for two days and then you forget the rest of the 28 days, you're, you're tired. Or you can't go, you know, they recite too slowly. You know, a lot of people complain, they recite too slowly. Well, the Qur'an was meant to be recited slowly. If that's your problem, you've got serious problems, right? This is, you know, Qur'an is not meant to be just, you know, uh, uttered in hyper speed. You have no idea what's being recited, and you just got it over with. That's not what Qur'an came down for. And that's the last activity which will give you khushu in the salah. And the whole point of the salah is what? Remembering Allah. Aqim salata li dhikri, Allah says. Establish salah so you can remember me. How are you remembering Allah if you can't even keep up with the words? You can't even keep up, you don't even know what's being recited. How are, you, how are you remembering Allah? So we've lost the spirit of the prayer, and we're more concerned with the form of the prayer, and that's unfortunate. But that's, again, it's a side subject. Let's come to the surah itself, inshallah ta'ala, and finish as, as much as we possibly can. Inna anzalnahu. It is no doubt we that have sent it down. Anzalnahu fi laylatul qadr.